I want to tell you about my adult life. As you know, I already talked about my childhood. Well, if you recall, I was born in St. Petersburg, but most of my life I lived in Stray. My parents, uh, my mother had an education of a railroad worker, and my father was uh, an electrician. But uh, he uh, worked as a deputy chief at uh, an electrical substation. My mother, uh, when I was young, my mother didn't work, she was at home. But later, she, after my father died, she worked as a nurse. And, uh, you know, my adult life started when I uh, entered the university. It was in 2003. I uh, entered the Russian State Pedagogical University named at Hudson. I studied to be an English teacher. Actually, I had uh, the second place by Marx uh, when I was uh, entering that university. So the second place in competition. So actually, I had an opportunity to try to uh, get into some bigger universities, but I had no money to study in bigger cities. So I studied at uh, Volkhov. Well, during the first year I actually studied well and uh, it was alright. Then I had my lady surgery and I had uh, an academic leave for a year. During that time I actually <laughs> studied Beatles biographies most of the time, also in English. And I uh, started to communicate online, it was in 2004. I went to some Beatles uh, forums and uh, socialized there in English. Later, after an academic leave, I returned to university. But then it was not so cheerful because I actually started uh, drinking. I w just got acquainted to some not, not very good companies. And uh, maybe it was uh, some kind of a childish rebellion because I during my childhood, I almost never socialized on the street with the children. And at university, it was the first time when I acquainted other people. I was rather young and unexperienced, so made some mistakes in life. Well, uh, actually, I didn't stop studying at university, but uh, well, I can't say that I behaved very well this way because I was drinking and sometimes drinking on the street uh, and uh, later in life I actually got into a chess cl club and uh, there was also some kind of a drinking atmosphere sometimes and uh, if you recall my short stories some men uh, stalked me there and uh, uh, harassed me and it was not very pleasant as I actually had to uh, refuse to uh, to be engaged in uh, tournaments, chess tournaments, because of him three times. Well, uh, but uh, actually, uh, during the university it was a uh, rather n nice years because I uh, studied very much and uh, I played chess a lot and. Uh, I uh, recall it with a good feeling, anyway. But later in life, all became uh, not so cheery. In uh, 2008, my father died from cancer after a year of illness, and I got very depressed. Mm. Early in life, I was uh, quite happy because of my lady surgery. I started to see the world, and I was very happy. Maybe. Uh, a bit careless about life because my vision was uh, the main thing that mattered for me but when my father died I rearranged my life I had to rearrange my life a, a lot of changed and uh, I was very upset and uh, grieved I uh, actually started to drink alone and it was uh, not very good I uh, uh, graduated university 
and uh, and uh, after that uh, I started to seek for a job. But you know, actually, after my father died, I started to get paranoid. I maybe at that time there were already signs of mental illness. In 2008, I felt as if some people were after me. I went to some other cities uh, because I thought that people were inviting me to some cities, but actually those people were in different cities. I took one person for another, and sometimes it led to some awkward situations. Such situations were two times in my life, in 2008 and 2010. And, uh, it was very traumatic. People sometimes didn't understand that I was insane, but sometimes they understood that I was uh, delusional and they just uh, bullied me or uh, induced me to uh, have sex with them. And I didn't understand what was going on. So in this atmosphere I started to look for a job. And uh, at first uh, I, uh, I graduated in university in 2009. And uh, found some job in St. Petersburg. I worked there for a month. It was a training job, but actually I didn't succeed much in it because I was felt very tired and it was a, a secretary job. I just couldn't uh, do the job well because I was very tired all the time. And uh, you know, even earlier I had some difficulties to to prepare for exams the last year at university. My mental illness maybe was already worsening. Well, then uh, later, I uh, the next year in 2010, I found uh, a job as a translator in my own town, at Papa and Paper Factory, and uh, worked there for four months. It was quite a uh, pleasant time, and. Uh, uh, I actually managed to do the job, but uh, I was also very tired and it was rather exhausting. Then, uh, at that time, actually, there was a time of my paranoia and delusions, and I, after I stopped that job, I went to some foreign city, and uh, s some man lured me there uh, because I was uh, delusional and didn't understand uh, that uh, he actually said he was one person, but uh, then uh, it happened to be he was another, and I believed him. Well, I, I described it in my short stories. And uh, later, maybe half a year passed, I stayed at home, and uh, I felt very tired, and uh, uh, I was uh, getting some uh, uh, kind of uh, almost threats on, day on, on uh, chess gaming sites. People were bullying me because I uh, was playing chess well. Uh, the same as in the chess club, actually. And uh, I felt paranoid. And uh, in in 2011, I got psychotic the first time. I started to behave very weirdly, and mother called an ambulance. And after that, uh, I've been to hospital uh, seven times. And. Uh, after I got psychotic, I was in the hospital every time, about one month or two months. And after the first time, I actually tried to work a bit. I was uh, working as a... I forgot the <laughs> name. Well, let me see. I just forgot the name. I actually forgot it. It's a Russian name. Sorry. Well, uh, it's a, a kind of a janitor, and um, I worked there for a month or two, and uh, I. It was uh, uh, quite well, but uh, after that I got voices, and uh, I had to be uh, sectioned into mental hospital again. Yes, it was a janitor or a watchman, I, I recall the name, <laughs> and uh, it was in 2011. And later, 
in life I almost never worked. I, I tried some casual jobs, but uh, uh, mostly I couldn't manage to do it. I tried uh, some shop assistant uh, in several places, but I couldn't manage more than a week. And uh, you know, mostly it was because of my lack of memory and because of my uh, fatigue. Since 2013 I started to feel uh, more tiredness than uh, ever. I actually was uh, sleeping uh, most of the days and since that time I decided that uh, I have to seek professional help and I started to go to psychiatrists myself and uh, induce them to give me meds because earlier well, sh Shrinx, they just thought that uh, I could uh, recover myself without meds. They only gave me meds in mental hospital, but uh, uh, they didn't see me so seriously sick. But uh, later in life, I started going to psychiatrist myself because uh, I felt I needed help, and uh, they indeed prescribed me more meds, uh, and I started to take meds regularly since 2013 and it helped a lot. Uh, since that time I started to feel uh, less depressed and less uh, uh, more energy. I felt more energy from meds and I started to be more creative. I started writing poems and uh, short stories since that time, you know. Well, in 20 15, I was bullied at some rock forum and it actually shaped my life too because I was uh, rather traumatized psychologically and uh, I found it hard to uh, go on my life after that. I felt bad for two years and couldn't do anything. But later I actually recovered from that. Well, if you see, I describe my life and uh, most of it is uh, not usual thing that work or family or dating. It's uh, actually mostly my struggle with illness and indeed most of my uh, adult life was uh, struggling with my mental issues and uh, it may be started during childhood. So actually these uh, 12 years of my illness last 12 years of my life. I am mostly living overcoming my fatigue that is uh, rather exhausting because I can work about uh, 3 or 5 hours a day and uh, most of the day I feel very tired. Well, since uh, 2018 I started to study paranormal topics as you know and it brought some clarity to my life and uh, I've learned more reasons and consequences in life. It was useful. And you know, it's rather, it's quite an interesting activity. And uh, also I started to uh, make pictures from water splatters and I started uh, writing music. I started to be more creative than ever. And uh, you know, I can't say crea creativity is all my, all what I do. I mostly, mostly in life I just do nothing or I sometimes I do some domestic work but not much and the creativity is only a little part of my life. I just, you know, I gather all my creativity and research in my blog for people to see, to share something good with people and uh, people maybe think that I do creativity on a regular basis but actually not. Mostly I am not so creative. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm just trying to overcome my mental issues and uh, as you know I got mental disability since 2016 for 6 years already and uh, as I told I tried to work some casual jobs but uh, I couldn't manage it so I actually almost gave up looking for a job because I don't know what I could do in my mental state. I actually um, put much hope in my blogging and creativity because I thought I could earn money with it but as you see it, it doesn't come true so far. Also you see that there is this paranormal story that makes my blog very dubious 
and I don't know what's gonna be in future, how it will develop, will my uh, hypo hypothesis prove valid or not, uh, and uh, even if it's valid, uh, I don't know what it will bring me. Actually, it is a chance to be known, but uh, the whole hypothesis is very contradictive and dubious, as you know, and uh, I don't know if it will bring me more good than bad, I don't know. So, I haven't uh, uh, haven't seeked ways to earn money so far. And uh, I actually, I was offered some jobs uh, from uh, several of my acquaintances, but uh, I just uh, couldn't do this because I felt much fatigue and uh, I just couldn't cope with it. As uh, you know, I graduated as an English teacher, but uh, I actually can't uh, work with children in my mental state and uh, as to working with adults, for instance, video lessons. I actually, theoretically, I could do video lessons, but practically I can't manage it, as I find difficulty to plan things. It is not only fatigue, but uh, some cognitive difficulties. So it's rather a hard situation in my life. I can say I actually got used to being sick. And uh, I don't perceive myself as the only sick person. I see myself as an individual who cares for one's family, uh, is creative. Uh, and uh, yes, I am not only my illness, but uh, nevertheless illness plays a big part in, in my life. So that's it. So my adult life is still going on and uh, I'm thinking that maybe someday I will manage to uh, solve uh, my problems with uh, work, to find some work that I could do, maybe. Or maybe uh, I would manage to earn money with my creativity, I don't know. All in all, it was uh, quite a good life, but uh, maybe I didn't socialize with people much. Uh, almost never. And, uh, you know, I started socializing with people only in uh, 2011, when I got psychotic first time and got medicated. Uh, after that, I suddenly uh, felt the wish to talk to people. Also, you know, in mental hospital I met lots of good people. Well, maybe in other places they were also good, but... Uh, in mental hospital, actually, it was easier to talk to people because we had uh, common illnesses, some common topics to talk about. And uh, I got acquainted to several people, but, uh, you know, most of them are already dead now from, well, f from, you know what. Uh, and, uh, you know, people in mental hospitals, sometimes they don't live long because of their depression issues. And uh, I recall those people with gratitude, uh, and uh, I'm thankful that they have been in my life, and uh, they taught me something about life. They showed me a sincere friendship. And uh, in uh, 2016, I tried to communicate to people from that forum, but they mostly rejected me. Or didn't treat me well enough, or may just mis misunderstood me, so it was not a successful communication. Even though sometimes there was a sex, but uh, it was not successful communication. Since that time, I didn't socialize online uh, or offline <laughs> in real life. But I am actually lately I am thinking that uh, I will have to try to be more in real life and uh, meet people in real life. I actually still want to find some love and uh, in real life friendships. But maybe I don't know how to do it. I find difficulties to talk to people. But it was my issue all my life. I uh, found it hard to talk to people in real life. At university I um, almost never did uh, oral reports. Uh, I didn't do speeches, I just wrote some papers instead. I, I just did more papers than others, uh, only not to talk in public. 
And you see, actually, I can talk in English, but uh, in Russian it's uh, harder. And I don't exactly understand why it is so. Because uh, in my life I didn't uh, talk English more than Russian. I actually have no one to talk uh, English to. And still I speak English better than Russian. I think it's because my, my incarnation memories because of Lena's incarnation, as I uh, can recall English. And, uh, but uh, as to some material reason, maybe the thing is that I, I actually started tweaking uh, in English uh, since 2011. I started to share some of my psychotic uh, thoughts and uh, uh, my uh, mental health experience. So actually I have some uh, fluent read in English. But I didn't, I never practiced uh, uh, sp spoken English. I only started making videos in 2017 on YouTube. And I, earlier I didn't have anyone to talk uh, to in English language. So, well, as you know, my paranormal facts uh, uh, seem to me rather solid and I think uh, these are incarnational memories why I can't uh, speak Russian fluently. Maybe it was because of my mental issues. You know, it's been all my life that I rarely talk to people in real life, in Russian. And, uh, but I didn't talk English either. But you see, I, I think that actually maybe I won't be able to speak uh, Russian. I, I'm not sure that I can uh, learn to speak uh, it better because because of my mental issues, because uh, if I talk English, it's because uh, I have international memories of language. But if I uh, talk Russian, it's uh, mostly uh, in my present incarnation, and uh, it is connected to my cognitive decline. So that's it. Uh, well, um, well, I actually I I'm trying to be not uh, too pessimistic about the future. As I think that uh, my ideas are valuable and uh, can be used to humanity. And uh, some other people also think so. And uh, some are inspired by my vlog. So I hope that eventually I can manage to earn some money to, to afford myself some uh, food, uh, better food and clothes and meds. Actually, I don't ask for much money with my conception. I, I'm just, uh, I just need some money to survive, and I want to uh, earn my own money to be independent. Uh, and it's one of my life aims. And uh, I also want to reach some understanding with humanity, so that uh, people uh, uh, didn't bully me but uh, understood me and uh, valued me as I am. So this is it. <laughs> this is all about my adult life. Thanks for watching.